What's up, guys? H of Masters here doing a uh, Hero Factory 5.0 or Doom Box set review. As you can obviously see, because of the title, this is a Voltex. And this is our first 5.0 review. So I'm really excited for this. So let's get over the bag. It says Voltex right here. 300 game points in the background. Screener. And yes, the back's kind of messed up. Seven, his, the ages are 7 the 14. Album number is 6283. 61 pieces, which is actually quite a lot. And it has a nice little golden thing on top. I guess that's how they separate from a breakout set, or I don't know. Okay, so here we have the back. So that's a nice little... Look, average look on little text. Let's just zoom in on that. Zoom out. Okay. It says Voltex, and it shows his actual size of his mask. It says how to shoot his atmosphere. It shows like Hero Factory game points to go into the online game, which is kind of rubbish, but. Okay, so now let's open this set. I haven't done this in forever. Oh man. Awesome. Bring up the set. Did I get it? I got it. Woo! Okay. Whoops, the dark stretch manual. The bags don't really smell much like crap, so let's just release the mini tripod. This was only gonna take a few seconds. Okay, so this extraction manual, which we'll go over later. Okay, so first thing we have is this awesome bag of parts. We have uh, some new purple pieces, and he has a, looks like he has a neon yellow head. This is where just a bunch of tubes and his torso are, and this yellow whip. Um, and this is just some other extras, I guess, with his electric things. So let's show you the instruction manual. Sorry if I cannot get this fully on camera. Let me try something. Okay. Doesn't work. Oh, well. Okay, so, yeah, exactly what you saw in the box. You can see screener in the background. It says Lego Hero Factory on the top. Just a little advertisement for the game. Just flip it back. More advertisements for Lego Club and the online game. And then Stringer plus Voltex equals um, this crappy combiner. It's always very crappy. It is 26 pages and a nice little showing of Voltex after you have finished. Okay. So now, I'm going to show you the parts. Alright, so here we have the pieces. I just want to go over new pieces now. Nice purple torso. We have two of these. Well, body plate. We got two of these, new and purple. We have two of these, new and gunmetal. We have actually three black feet. They are not new. But I just want to show you those. The black phantom grass recolored to be gum metal. We have four of these, and these are awesome, but they are very, very, very small. Okay, so the other new pieces kind of looks like he lacks a lot of new pieces. Nope, no new pieces, unless you want to say this is a new piece recolored. For Hero Factory line. Oh, and I just noticed he has this small torso body. That's interesting. So, there actually aren't a lot of new pieces. And that's surprising. But, yes, he does have neon yellow head. Unlike neon green. So, let's build it. What's up, guys? It's us again. I'm back. Now from the tiny little cut. Yeah, I know. So kind of weird entrance, but 
here we have Voltex all built up. And I actually have to say, he's not that bad. I mean, the team's flying everywhere. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. It's kind of a nuisance, but he doesn't look too bad himself. Okay, so let's just take a look at him. Now, I must say one thing. This set's actually very unique to what they did with this head. The electrics coming out and all that. Now, it does kind of limit some head mobility, but it, all you have to do is do this, which would be very stupid. And it's surprising yesterday that there is a neon yellow head, but with the electric guy, it really works out well. And I've actually never got one of these yellow blasters or zemspheres, and yellow is my favorite color so this was like awesome when i first saw this my brother's is green i mean like same with the whip epic and yellow but i what i really caught attention to was how you can go with the whip you have to kind of move his head up a little bit if you want to do it like that or just do this that's just really epic now, he kind of does look a little bit short, so I really think he would be very well off on his legs if he had extender joints, because he kind of looks short on the legs, because he's very bulky on the legs, just kind of looks short there, but that's not really any problem, and I like, like the tubes, uh, the tubes wouldn't matter if it was just the two red tubes. The blue tubes uh, kind of are stupid. And wha what they did, they put the tubes like inside one of these. Like inside these, how there's a little hole. They put them inside a blue one of these. Well, not literally blue, but you know, put these blue things over there. They p You're going to put them inside one of those. So if you're a little kid, or you this is your first Lego set, it's going to take you a freaking long time to realize that. It's going to take you forever just trying to get the tubes in that they'll probably just end up asking their dad or their mom and they are going to go well to find out so they're just going to put them right here. Which that probably isn't a problem but yeah. Okay so the main thing about this set. This why there's actually a lot of hatred on this set the colors if it was just the original con metal and red it wouldn't be too bad but the purple everyone thinks it doesn't stand out and i can agree with that but i actually personally do like how the purple's there because if you switch this to be gun metal and red it kind of would get this a little bit of boring look considering the fact that he has all the tubes out though you really kind of need different colors. The set kind of would have a boring look if, if it was just black and, I mean, gum metal and red. But they do have a little bit of black coming out of here, so again, it's not really much of a complete loss. Though this set, must say, one of the best villains out of the line, probably. Because if you look at XC4, it's just like, wow, he's a crap. Boneless creep. I hate him. And I... Really... There's nothing I can say about that. Because, you know, XC4. But this guy's awesome. If you want someone with playability... This is definitely the villain. I don't have them all, but... Because I only have this villain, but this... I'd really say is definitely one of the guys with real playability. Because his whip. If you're just a little kid, you could do that all day. He's going all day long. And his back isn't much of a problem. He has a nice little foot. And these tubes actually cut out a lot of things. The black and purple actually takes out a lot of the look of the hollowness. This is just kind of random, though, on his whip. But I don't care much. So I say, though, if you want to take the set in, if you really want to do stop motion and you want to keep him with the tubes, e I say either keep him exactly like this or take out the blue tubes. 
But Voltex, I'm gonna have to rate him. If I had to rate him, probably an eight and a half. Only because the colors don't stand out that much. And the whip kind, if you want to spin the whip, you really do need to have a very high or very low. Well, not too low. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed my review of Voltex. And see you next time. And this is Ace of Masters signing off.